All right, YouTube, so we are back again to talk about Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. It's pretty crazy how much news there is for this game and how often we talk about it on the channel. Never thought I'd be talking about this game to this degree, but people seem interested in this kind of content. Either way, today we are here to talk about the ESRB actually gave the remaster a rating, which seems like kind of small news at first, but this actually alludes to the game having a release date somewhat soon. ESRB has now rated Final Fantasy VIII Remaster for Windows PC and Xbox One. This is a new rating for the game that seems to miss out on PS4 and Nintendo Switch and only lists the Xbox One and PC as a platform. It is a brand new rating that is separate from the ESRB rating given to the original version available through the PlayStation Store and Steam. I've seen some people talk about this. It is kind of weird that they don't mention PlayStation 4 or Nintendo Switch. Obviously the game is going to get the exact same rating on those platforms. We know the game is coming to those platforms so I'm not sure why they're only doing PC and Xbox One. It's kind of weird. Right here we have a somewhat lengthy description of the rating. Obviously the game was rated T for Teen just like the original game. I don't think anybody expected anything different. This is a role playing game in which players follow the story of fighters involved in a war for independence. Players can explore cities, interact with characters, perform quests, and battle human and fantastical enemies. Combat is turn based with players selecting attack moves from a menu which triggers brief animated sequences. Cutscenes also depict instances of violence and blood. A character impelled through the chest with a crystal shard, a character slashed across the face during a sword fight, blood splashes, and a bleeding wound on a character's face. The game contains some suggestive material, scenes referencing a naughty magazine, though no images are shown, female characters wearing low-cut or skimpy clothing that reveals large amounts of breast slash cleavage, a handful of scenes depict drunk characters slurring their speech or hiccuping, one sequence allows player characters to buy alcohol in order to obtain an item after drinking a character says, whoa, hick, I'm totally wasted. The words ass, bastard, and a bitch appear in the dialogue. So that was a pretty in-depth rating of the game, a lot more extensive than I expected. They brought up stuff that I completely forgot about because I haven't played this game in a very long time. I totally forgot about the naughty magazine thing, but what an absurd thing to rate the game by. It's so irrelevant. Anyways, onto the point of the video, the game getting a proper rating from the ESRB means that it could be pretty close to launch, because obviously when it comes to Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft, games cannot launch on their platforms without a rating from the ESRB. That just has to happen. So there could be a possible reason why we haven't got a release date yet for this game, or why they didn't give us a release date at E3. Maybe they're just waiting on the rating system. And now that the game does have a rating for at least two platforms, PC and Xbox, I don't know why they haven't rated it for Switch or PlayStation 4 yet, but obviously, again, the game's going to be rated T for Teen for those platforms. They could theoretically release the game whenever they wanted to. Now as for when the game might come out, the most obvious thing that comes to mind first would be the anniversary of the North American release date, which was September 9th, 1999. The only issue with that is that this year, September 9th, falls on a Monday, which is a very strange day for video games to release. They generally drop on Tuesdays or Fridays. The only thing that would be kind of weird about dropping the game on Tuesday is that's literally the day before Tokyo Game Show 2019 starts, so it'd be kind of a strange day to release you know, Final Fantasy A Remaster, like right before a big gaming event. So maybe they could wait a couple days, maybe drop it that Friday. Like, I'm not exactly sure what day Square Enix is doing their showcase for Tokyo Game Show. I don't think the schedule's come out yet. But, like, say they're doing it that Friday, they could do, like, another trailer for FFA Remaster, and then at the end of the trailer it says, Available Now, Worldwide. So a bit of speculation in this video, but the main point is the game has a proper rating now, which means we could be seeing a release date before long, and I think that Tokyo Game Show's week, like, September 11th through the 15th, is a good guess. But of course, I'll pass it off to you guys in the comments. What do you think? When do you think we're going to see Final Fantasy VIII Remaster? When do you think it's coming out this year? Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And want to stay up to date with more Final Fantasy VIII Remastered content, turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at TheDashingDavid. I'm a Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys.